What's going on everybody? So finally got the new computer set up and I'm playing around a little bit with the mic stuff so this may change my voice just a tad bit. Um, so I do apologize for that. But today's video, I'm going to talk about these new fake PSA slabs. They're getting better and better at it. And if you're not buying from somebody who you know grades, I would start checking these out. They're very, very good. The fonts are a little bit off on some of them through time. But now, the labels are getting better, including the QR codes, too. So, we're going to talk about this a little bit. So, there's actually three pictures on your screen. If you look at the one on the left, and I'll show you uh, what a PSA slab is I just bought this weekend. And I meant to get a slab out um that i just graded so I'll, I'll dig one of those out as i'm talking here but that way you guys can see that they're pretty much the same but anytime i sit there and buy a psa slab from anybody anybody when they come in the mail i look at them unless i know i physically graded that card for that person <laughs> now i'm checking this stuff out not saying the person i'm buying from is a scammer or anything like that but they may pick it up by mistake and not know as well too so picture and elect what you want to look at is the PSA um, hollow logo silver foil thing. Now if you look at the bottom picture, that's the true PSA slab. It has the PSA onto it. Um, like Kind of like a little, I don't know, hollow view type deal onto it. Now I'm going to tell you, eventually I think they're going to start getting smart and somehow putting those on there. So there's a few other things you need to look at. If you look at the middle picture, you could kind of tell the PSA, the font is there, but the foil aspect of it's a little bit different. Remember, there's different years of PSA slabs. We did a video a long time ago on that. You can always look at that there for reference for the PSA slab history tree or whatever it's called. And then below the Watermark Extreme Card Breaks logo, you can see what we're talking about there. So kind of crazy. This is just more for like an FYI type deal so that you guys um, have something to use for reference. And if I'm sounding a little bit low, it's because I'm moving to get a card that I just got back from grading not too long ago. Okay, I'm going to pull these pictures down and we're going to go over this stuff. Boom, boom. So, Lindstrom I graded myself. It's in a sleeve. This brand I just bought this weekend. This is the tool I've been saying. I bought this from Amazon for like five bucks. I don't, I don't think it was more than ten. It's a black light. And you can see pretty much what it is. If you guys want to buy it, it's on to you. There is no sponsorship. No like, hey, use my Amazon handle so I can get like a penny back for every dollar you spend crap here. All right. So all I do is click on the back. See black, well, black light, right? I'm going to try to get this to show up right. So as you can see there, real, this is the one I graded. Let me see if I can get it here. It's, this was hard last time when we did a video onto this. I might need to take it out of the holder. Let me pop her out of the holder. All right, there we go. This is a little bit better now. Let me get the focus first. Then we'll hit it with the light. Okay. So if you look around the PSA... Man, I just lost focus because of it again. There you go. You can see there's hollow. There's six of them. So that's one thing I look at right off the bat. The next thing you could go on to the, lo the silver foil thing onto. It's hard to see onto here, but there's a ton of PSAs across the whole thing. That's probably the best I had there for that split second to a blurred out. All right, so the front... Believe it or not, it's on here too. Let me just get focused. There we go. See the top there? Above the 91 Opeachy Premium or Premier. PSA goes across all that too. So there's many things I look at when I'm looking at the slab. That's the first in the front. If I don't see that, I flip it around because it could be an older slab. I look for those six right there. I hate because I can't get the thing going. There we go. Just trying to get to where it just barely shows. Right there. And then the same with the foil there. I'll look at it. It's easier on the eyes. 
than it is on the camera. So those are the three things I look at there on to it. I don't try matching up serial numbers and all that stuff because, like I said, they've gotten really good. All right, I'm putting Lindstrom away. I'm going to show you real quick Morant. Now, I know that something got by a black light, but it's fun to go to hotel rooms. Trust me, you guys have seen that one video. So this is the Morant I bought. You can see it has the six up there. If I can get it to focus, then I'll get the light on to it. There we go. You can see a six up there. I can see it in the full. Oh, there it is on the floor. I had to turn a little bit there. That's what I should have did. So it's got it there. I flip it around. Let me get the focus. It deals as soon as I put this other light on from behind. It's kind of screwing me up. You kind of can see it there. Come on, get focus. I feel like a rookie here with this new computer and stuff. Right there, you can see them while I had them. Yeah, see, since I put this other light on, it's kind of screwing up. But you can kind of barely, faintly see the PSAs up there on top. But they're there. So, this is just my little precaution video. Because I keep hearing about this all the time. And people are like, well, how can I tell? And I'm like, well, this is the first telltale. If I don't see those things onto it, then I go on my phone... Type in, you know, the history of the PSA slab, and I look, there's a tree link, pull it up, flip down through, make sure things line up, what should be on it, what should not be on it, just to help what I buy. And that way I'm going to try to say, you know, hey, <laughs> don't buy PSA slabs because anything could be manipulated out there. It's just knowing what to look for. It's just like vintage cards. There's some guys that are really good looking at vintage cards for alterations that are raw, while there's other people who are uh, not very good at it, not gonna lie, that's why they try to use the experts on to it. But hopefully, the video gives you guys a little bit of, uh, I guess you say, clarity or knowledge on to the situation out there. Fear we double tap on this real quick today. Um, I had to actually push this video out because there was breaking news, which should be in yesterday's video. In regards to eBay buying gold at auctions. Alright guys. Appreciate y'all watching it. Hopefully this helps out. Like I said, black light. Cheap. I use it on a lot of things. Um, looking at raw cards on edges. It pulls it out real quick. All the whiting. But other than that, I am out. Take care. Catch you next one.